Right, next up we got another lamp from Bell. And this is the old Bell, the Bell I remember, the factory which was very near where I worked in Wimbledon. There's also the, I'll show you the actual filament of this lamp. It's a twisted candle. I'll show you the box it came in. So if you see a box like this and there's a bulb in it, it'll probably be a good one. Um, it probably goes back to 60s. It goes back a few years. It also shows on the boxes uh, the other lamps that they made. You've got the Max Strip, they call it. That's with side contacts. Tubular. And some other tubulars. They're particularly nice. It's a Gothic candle. Several makers made these, but they're, they're rather nice. I don't know if I put one, I think I put one of those up. Just normal candle. And this is the one we're having a little look at today. They call it Twisted Olive. But it, it, as far as I'm concerned, it's a twisted candle. It's a white one. This. Anyway, let's have a look at it. So I'm in quite a good mood today. I've just had a, I've just had a, a delivery which has made me in a very very good mood actually it was very early for the post to deliver today right there's the lamp um, and I say it's uh, there's a gives an idea of the size I use my hand rather than a ruler on the base you've got UM. Now that UM is obviously the code of when this lamp was made. Now as you know I am no good at working out ages of lamps from codes. That I leave up to my dear friend. He knows how to find these out. So Alex if you're there code UM. I think it's the 1960s but um, it might not be but I think it's the 60s. It might even be earlier. It's um, 240. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit of corrosion around there. It's 240 volt. Six. Uh, is that 60? Yeah, 60 watt. It's um, brand new. Or as we say, new old stock. Never been used. Now, with a lot of the modern ones of these, when I say the modern ones, the ones that go back a few years the filament would be the standard coil coil kind of filament that you'd find in a normal lamp but this one is a little bit different I'll plug it in and we'll have a little look let's wedge it up so it can you can all see it there we are, that's what it'll look like Let's have a little look. We'll turn it up slowly on the Variac. Now, see, see what I mean. Years ago, all fancy lamps like tubulars, candles, be it twisted candles, be it clear, be it coloured, had that type of filament. That was a good filament, rough service type filament. This one is a simple up and down some in fact were up and down twice if you know what I mean but this one's up and down and that is the filament that you'd expect to find on this type of lamp but as I say the modern ones have just the normal modern coil coil filament this is certainly not coil coil and it's it lights the lamp up evenly as well we want, I won't wind it up too too much. It'll overload the the camera. I think it's it's dropping down a bit now, but you can see the filament. 
can be seen quite clearly. I'm on at the moment about 150 volts. If I go more than that, it'll just it, it, it will flood the camera out with the light. The coating, I'll turn it down a bit. The coating is like a, it's an outside coating. Whether it was dipped in hydrofluoric acid, I think it might have been, because it is, it is etched to a certain extent uh, with like an acid. And hydrofluoric acid is the one that comes to mind. But anyhow, it's um, all in all, I think it's quite a nice looking lamp. And uh, well, you know, I'll leave it to uh, all of you out there, a discretion of what you think. Any comments, obviously, please make. And thanks for watching. And I think I've answered all the. Uh, the comments I've had to date. If I haven't, it's through oversight. I'm pretty sure I have. My computer was deciding to play silly what's it. It was either that or uh, the internet that was jumping about. Sometimes it was on, sometimes it wasn't. So these are the things we have to put up with. Oh, it's a hard life. Anyhow, thanks again. Um, and uh, I don't know what I'm going to put up next, but we'll put something up. Thanks again for watching. Thank you.